What's going on, people? Welcome back to Members Only. I'm happy to see all y'all return. We slowly getting back in motion. So I'm going to just hit y'all with these little bonus videos, and then we're going to pick up where we left off. Now, the 48 Laws of Power are laws that can be used to control any situation, whether you're a nine to fiver, entrepreneur, or a criminal. Now, you don't need to use the whole 48. Last video, we talked about how Eric Von Zip used a set of laws that had one of the longest runs in history. Now, tonight, we're talking about Preacher. The media named him the Black Hand of Death. He was a leech, a master manipulator, and a creep. <laughs> Psych, no, nah, but let's just get into the video. Now, the first law that I noticed he used was law number three. Conceal your intentions. Now, the art of manipulation. He's a nice guy was everyone's first impression of Preacher. That's how you get people to let their guard down. That was his go-to tactic. Conceal your intentions. He acted as he was doing you a small favor so he can get something big out of you in the long run. He would give guys narcotics to act as he was showing them love. And then he would force them to sell it. And once you take something from him, you owe him 10 times what he gave you. The next law I noticed was law number seven. Get others to do the work for you, but always take credit. Most of the wrecks around in his name was the actions of the guys around him. First, you had Jack, a stick-up kid turned police officer, riding around robbing guys. Then you had Malik. He was a straight gun. He got busy in front of police officers. Just a crew of 20 to 30 men willing to do anything, he says. The kidnapping of Donnell Porter. He damn sure received credit for all of that. And that strike fear in most of the hustlers on the street, which worked out great for when it came to extortion. Now we have law number 12, use selective honesty and generosity to, to disarm your victim. First impressions last a long time. Just like I said, everyone says he's a nice guy from the start. He gives his honesty in the beginning. It only takes someone one time to be honest in a situation for someone to start calling them thorough and stand up. Why is that? That's the reason why there's so many disappointments out here. But really, we disappoint ourselves. But when Preacher shows honesty once, that gives him an opportunity to use selective honesty later down the line. Just like when a female tells you, yeah, we chilled, but nothing happened. You might think to yourself, oh yeah, she was honest about going over there. Oh yeah, to throw you off. A lawyer once said that all you have to do is tell half the truth. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. To crush your enemy, you have to hit him where it hurts. Add an insult to injury was something that Preacher was good at. He would not only come at you, but he would go at family members. He would show up to your funeral to hug your mother. He even paid for some of his victims' funerals. Law number 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. He stalked and watched his victims for weeks before he made the approach. Before you knew it, he already learned your patterns, where you stop to grab coffee, your girlfriend's house, where your mother's house. With him having all that, you don't know when to expect him. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. While you're grabbing coffee, next thing you know, he's having coffee with Jack. You visit your mother's house. He's sitting on the steps waiting. Nothing terrifies you more than disruption. Law number 19. Know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. The only way to survive the extortion game is to know who to try and who not to try. A bully picks on the weak. Why pick on someone that's going to fight back? Why try to extort someone that's going to take you to war? You offer the weak protection for a weekly fee against other gangsters and yourself. Law number 20. Do not commit to anyone. The more you give, the less they value you. This man had no heart. His own wife had to contribute to the organization. This man spared nobody. He treated all of them equally. And instead of taking a fall for his family, he threw his son and daughter right under the bus. Law number 27. Play on people needs to believe to create a cult-like following. He made the crew feel like they were a part of something. It makes you feel special knowing that your vote mattered in the situation. And we all know what they voted on. He had ranks, and we all know that ranks make people feel important, causing a person to be very dedicated to the job. If someone in the crew messes up, there were heavy consequences, sometimes consequences you can't come back from. Law number 31. Control the options. Get others to play the cards you deal. He dealt the cards and gave his victims the options to do it the easy way, 
which is pay up, or do it the hard way, and he'll send the janitors with the mop buckets. He even dealt the cars in his crew. Just because you're a part of the crew doesn't mean you won't get your car pulled. Law number 32, play the people's fantasies. Now, he had a couple delusional kids in his crew that probably just needed a hug. <laughs> no, but in order to control them, he had to feed the delusion. He agreed with every opinion his crew members had in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Malik and Jack, they didn't like each other. He played both sides, making both of them feel like he was on each of their sides. Law 33, discover each man's thumb screw. He knew everyone's weakness around him, his victims, the crew members. With him stalking his victims, he knew if they were drug addicts, if they couldn't keep it in their pants. I mean, look how they got Bobby Brown. He knew a baddie would be his weakness. He knew Bobby Brown would be dumb enough to follow her outside the club alone at night. <laughs> no, but he also watched young hustlers like Rich Porter and them. He saw how they were addicted to the flashy life, buying cars, partying. He was like, if y'all throwing money in the air, y'all might as well just give me the money. <laughs> now, law number 39, stir up waters to catch fish. Stir up waters to catch fish. What does that mean? Preacher would come and extort guys on a calm. He would be calm, cool, and collective. Guys would snap and blow up on him, and he'll just smile and walk away. Guys will move out of anger and fall right into his trap. Last but not least is law number 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Now, this law is similar to law number 33. He poses as a friend, but we all know death comes with smiles and hugs. He used your emotions and securities and fears to soften you up. Next thing you know, he's controlling you like a puppet. You're a loyal pawn. But you know, many guys feared him. He did his thing, he had his run. You know, he you know he he cooperated with law enforcement, but you know, guys wouldn't approach him just like when Omar from the wire. You know, he was cooperating, but he still was against it at the end of the day. You know, so people can say rat this, rat that, but the guy's like six, 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 seven, and was a black belt. So he'll beat you up, and then he was definitely about the murder game. So, you know, now thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. You know, turn y'all notifications on so y'all don't miss out on anything. Hit the like button. Hit me up in the comments. You know, I'll get back at y'all. And, you know, we're going to keep this ball rolling, man. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my day ones. Shout out to all my upper echelon members. Shout out to everyone, man. We out.